Hi, Hi Kitty Wink, Wink listeners. I'm Juliana. And I'm Lindsay. Glad you're all here for story time. Okay, open hearted, playful, and intelligent listeners. This is episode number 26 of our sports series. Our final episode of the sports series. Woohoo! Make sure you check out our website, kittywinkcrew.com, and our Instagram page. We have great content, and purchasing books and merch help us a lot. Thank you for supporting us by being a member of our crew. Oh, we so appreciate it. Our mascot and octopus pal, Ozzy, is also thrilled to have you as a member of the Kitty Wink crew. Together, we make an amazing team. All right, Team Kitty Wink, it's time to guess the sport in this story. Lindsay, we are ready for the three clues. Okay, clue number one. This sport includes balls and pins. Balls and pins. Got it. Lots of balls in sports, but this one has pins. Clue number two. The balls used to be made with wood or heavy rubber, and now they're made with a polyester resin. Resin. Such a good word. Okay. Clue number three. The ball can be different weights. The heaviest one would be 23 pounds. Ooh, listeners, what do you think? These are our final clues of the series. Oh, and they're so good because you make the best clues. Uh, The ball that is 23 pounds, that's pretty heavy. Could it be bowling? Yes. Oh, my gosh. I know. I would never use a 23-pound ball. I much prefer an 8-pound ball like, (laughs) like the main character in this story. Listen for geometry and geography in the story. Remember, geometry is mathematical and geography is about locations. Let's go, team. Come along with us. It's time to listen and then we'll discuss. Ready? Go, team. Can we? Gunnar lives in Iceland. He lives in Reykjavik, which is the capital and largest city of Iceland. It's the world's northernmost capital, so it's not surprising that it's one of the cloudiest and coldest cities in the world. Luckily for Gunnar, there are many things to do indoors. His favorite indoor activity or sport is bowling. Oh, bowling is so fun. That's Ozzy's favorite sport, too. Well, too bad Ozzy doesn't live in Reykjavik. I'm sure he would have a lot of fun on Gunnar's team. Yeah, I'm sure, except for he's an octopus, and I don't know if he can handle the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Every day after school, Gunnar stops at the bowling alley. It's right between school and his house, so it's a perfect pit stop. Anna, the owner, is always so nice to him, and it's his favorite time of the day. Hi, Anna. Gunnar said as he walked into the bowling alley one cloudy day in May. Hi, Gunnar. How was school? Anna asked. Fine. I have a little math homework I need to finish, but then I'm ready to bowl. Actually, could you help me with this? It's all about triangles. Gunnar asked Anna. Triangles? My favorite 2D shape. Spheres are obviously my favorite 3D shapes. Ha <laughs> ha. Duh, bowling ball. Exactly. But triangles are just as cool to me. Have you ever noticed that the holes in a bowling ball create a triangle if you connect them with lines? Anna said. Oh, good point. Hmm. Now this homework is a little more interesting, Gunnar said. And with a little help from Anna, he completed it with a smile on his face. And then he went to his locker and got his ball. Oh, man, he really loved his bowling ball. It was an eight-pound ball that looked like the Blue Lagoon. Oh, that sounds cool. The Blue Lagoon is a geothermal spa, which means the heat from the earth heats the water. It's in Iceland. It's such a beautiful blue. This ball must be pretty beautiful, too. It is. It's blue with some white to represent the steam that comes off the Blue Lagoon. But beyond its looks, he loved it for many reasons, mostly the memories. Gunnar had that ball for so many years. It was with him when he won the kids' championship three years ago. It was with him when he got his first turkey two years ago. Oh, wow. Good for him. A turkey is when you get three strikes in a row. Yes, and Jules, did you know it's called a turkey because long ago you used to win a food basket or even an actual turkey if you won a bowling tournament? Oh, wow. I did not know that. So, yes, this ball witnessed his first turkey. And then also last year, it was with him when he got his first perfect score. Woo! He was never going to get rid of it. It was obviously good luck and oh so special. He grabbed it and brought it to his favorite lane, lane eight, because it matched his eight pound ball. He laced up his bowling shoes and was ready to practice. He stuck his fingers in the three holes in the ball. Now he noticed it looked like a triangle. Ouch! He said quietly, oh, he really had to shove his fingers into the holes. Did the holes get smaller somehow? 
Silly Gunner, that's not possible. Doesn't he realize his fingers must have gotten bigger? Right. Well, he figured it was all fine and stepped back to roll the ball with his fingers stuck nice and tighty tight tight. He said his favorite little saying before throwing the ball. Blue Lagoon, bowling ball, let those ten white pins fall. He brought the ball back in the air and flung it forward. Oh my gosh, ah! Gunner said and landed with a crash. Gunner, are you okay? Anna asked and ran over to check on him. His hand had gotten stuck in his ball, and when he threw it forward, the ball took him with it, and he slid down the alley. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Mostly just embarrassed, Gunner said. How did that happen? Let me see your ball, Anna said. Wait a second, Gunner. This ball is way too small for you. It's way too light and the holes need to be a lot bigger. No wonder you fell. No, no, it's fine. See? Blue Lagoon, bowling ball, let those ten white pins fall. Gunner said and threw it again. Or tried to at least. Ouchie! He yelped as he fell down the alley again. Gunner, let me show you some other options. I have other balls right here you can buy. And Anna raced off to get some 10-pound balls. I know you love that it looks like the Blue Lagoon, but what about this one? It has some very special green colors and was inspired by the Northern Lights. Gunner picked up the beautiful ball and noticed that it felt pretty heavy. The two extra pounds were definitely noticeable. How would he roll it? Thanks, Anna. It's cool. It's just not the same. You're right. It's not the same, and it's not meant to be the same. Do you wear the same clothes now that you did when you were three years old? Anna asked. Of course not, Gunner replied. Well, as we grow and change, sometimes we have to change the things we do or have. I've changed my bowling ball many times. I have a good feeling about this one for you, Gunner. Gunner left the new ball in his locker, but still wasn't convinced it was right for him. He took his Blue Lagoon ball home and left it in his closet in case he wanted to go back to using it. The next day, he was back at the bowling alley. He pulled out the Northern Lights 10-pound ball and brought it to lane eight. Okay, here goes. Northern Lights bowling ball, let those 10 white pins fall. Did he get the strike? Not at first. He actually missed all the pins the first roll. Eek! But he got better and better resilience with the ball each time he tried it. And he realized that the heaviness of the ball actually helped knock the pins down, too. He was getting stronger and more confident with each roll. Thank goodness the Northern Lights ball ended up being just the ticket. All right, Gunner. And no more sliding or falling down the bowling alley. And that's the end. Let's call a Kitty Wink. Hi, Kitty Wink. Can you tell us your name and where you live? My name is Adeline and I live in Oak Park. Adeline, we're so glad you're here today. We can't wait to talk to you about this story. What sport was featured in this story? Uh, bowling. Yes, bowling. I personally love to bowl. Have you ever bowled before? Uh, no. No? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Did you learn anything about bowling in the story? Like, Gunner had to change his bowling ball. Yeah, he did. Do you remember how much his bowling ball weighed? Um, eight pounds. Eight pounds. You're so right. And something about bowling that I thought was interesting. So bowling is when you take a heavy ball and you roll it down and try to knock over all the pins. And yeah. I loved that there was something called a turkey in the game of bowling. Do you remember what turkey means? When, when you get three strikes in a row. You are right, Adeline. And then what happened when he did change his ball? He got a heavier ball, right? Yeah, 10 pounds. And was it good that he switched? Did he want to switch? Tell us about that switch. Um, He didn't want to switch. No, he liked his regular ball. But then what happened? He, mi- he missed all the pins. And then... He he kept trying, and he didn't miss all the pins. Exactly. You are so right. At first, when he tried his new, he went from the Blue Lagoon, the ball that looked like the Blue Lagoon, 
to a ball that looked like the northern lights, which I think is a really cool thing about bowling is you can have super fun colors in your bowling ball, which is so neat. And at first he didn't do so well, but then he kept trying and he kept getting better and better. Is there something that you've done before that you weren't so good at at first, but then you kept getting better and better after practicing? Yeah, I did soccer and then I forgot to kick it and then I kicked it in my face. (laughs) (laughs) But you got better at kicking over time? Yeah. That's great. And then, Adeline, did you have a favorite part of the story? When he slid down the bowling alley. How did that happen? You're not supposed to slide down a bowling alley? No. He he slid with it. With the ball, yeah. Yeah. And then he kept trying and trying, and then he didn't slide. Yeah, were his fingers stuck in the eight-pound ball? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's because his fingers were glow- glowing. Not the, not the, not like the holes were getting smaller. That's not. Yeah, true. that's not what, that's not what happened. And, you know, I really do think Gunnar was a really good character in the story. But my favorite character was Anna. Because she was so nice and thoughtful and really wanted to help Gunner. And how did she help Gunner? Do you do you remember what happened? Yeah. The holes make a triangle. Yes. And Anna said that was her favorite 2D shape, right? So was she able to help Gunner with his homework? Yeah. Yeah. And did she help him pick out a new ball too? Mm-hmm. And explain that it's okay to change sometimes, right? Sometimes we have to change and try something new and different. And like she even said, um, do you wear the same clothes when you were three years old? And he said, of course not, because he's getting bigger. Okay, right. I have a question for you. Do you wear the same clothes you wore when you were three years old? No. Because <laughs> I gave them to my littlest cousin. That's nice of you to do that. Okay, and then Adeline, do you remember where this story took place? Like if Iceland? Yes, and it's the world's northernmost capital. So it's cloudy. It's really cold there. It is cold there. Yep, you got it. Okay, are you ready for a would you rather question from us? Yeah. Would you rather be a giant and bowl with a boulder or a big rock using trees for bowling pins? Or would you rather be a teeny tiny mouse and bowl with an acorn using blades of grass for bowling pins? I would be a mouse. Tell us why. Um, one time at my BFF's house, I saw a mouse. Did you do you think it was it a cute little mouse? It was a daddy mouse. Do you think that daddy mouse plays bowling with acorns? Yes. <laughs> Anna, what would you pick? Well, I'd like to believe that mice do play bowling with acorns and blades of grass. I would, however, as fun as it would be to be a tiny little mouse, I would rather be a giant for the day and bowl with a boulder knocking over some big trees because it would just be fun. I'm pretty short, so I think it'd be fun to be a Big giant. What about you, Lindsay? I would choose mouse, and I bet I can convince you, Juliana, to choose mouse because I don't want to knock down trees. Trees are so beautiful. Oh, you're right. You are right. The blades of grass sounds very fun. Okay, Adeline, do you have a would you rather for us? Yes. Would you rather be a cat or a dog? Mm, Dog for me. I am allergic to cats. So I would rather be a dog. What about you, Jules? I'm allergic to cats too. And I love dogs. Shout out to all those dogs out there. All those dogs out there listening. Yep. Woof, woof. Yeah, we would both be dogs. What about you? I would be a kitty because I would lay in the sun and take them. I love that. Okay, Adeline, thank you so much for joining us. This was a blast. And listeners, Thanks for tuning in. We loved being with all of you. Thank you. Bye. 
We hope you loved our bowling story and our final Kitty Wing conversation for this series with Adeline. Yes, it's so fun hearing from our Kitty Wing community. If you have thoughts, questions, pictures to share, please reach out. We especially love seeing pictures of kids working on our activity books. You can reach us at contactkittywink at gmail.com. And grownups, check out our Instagram page at Kitty Wink Crew. Thanks for letting us share what we love and for being part of Team Kitty Wink with us. We will end with a reminder from our favorite pal, Ozzy, to lead with your three hearts. That's showing love and kindness with your body, mind, and words. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for the support. Goodbye. Stories written and read by Juliana Bria and Lindsay Farley. Original theme by Miriam Mayer. Artwork by Amy Nicholson and Maggie Porter. Find us wherever you get your podcasts. This has been a Kitty Wing Crew production. Thank you.